Hey everybody, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. Today we're talking about the 12th Home Studio Necessities number six, <gasps> headphones. Okay, you gotta have headphones in the studio, right? If you're gonna record something, and maybe you don't know this, if you're just starting out, maybe you don't know that you need headphones to record. But when you're playing into a microphone and you've got some speakers set up, if those speakers are on, well, one, you might get feedback from the sound getting picked up by the microphone and it's fed back through the speakers. Secondly, you're going to get the sound of the speakers in your recording. You don't want that. That's just going to sound awful. So obviously you use headphones, you put them on. Now you can hear everything in here. You can hear the microphone. You can hear the backing tracks. That's a given, right? Everybody knows about headphones. But the question is, I'm probably talking a lot louder now than I should be taking back off. The question is, what headphones should you get? Now I've gone all over the place as far as my opinion on headphones. These happen to be the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro headphones. For, for recording and tracking, sorry, when you're recording, you want some headphones that are going to be over the ear, or they're called circumaural. See these? Big old pad that surrounds the ear. So when I put these on, like this, it covers my ear and kind of creates a seal, okay? So the sound is not leaking back out into the microphone. That's really important, especially if you have a click track going, it can leak out. And it still can leak out with these, but if you've got little flimsy headphones that kind of sit on top of your ear, they're going to let a lot more sound out and they're not going to probably sound as good either. Now, is that a requirement? No, but for me, I wanted at least one decent set of headphones that had a good seal to them and were comfortable so that I could do a lot of recording with them. What I like about these as well is I can take one ear off and this kind of swivels. So anyway, that's cool. So that's what the first, when you're buying headphones, you just want to get a pair that you can use for tracking. Okay. Now you can use these for mixing. I've mixed songs with these before. The problem with closed headphones like these is they tend to not have a great bass response. Either that, or they have an exaggerated bass response, which is arguably even worse. So when I do need to mix on headphones, I've got these, these are Sennheiser HD 650s. Now these are expensive. They're about $500, maybe a little bit more. So they're not for everybody. However, you would spend at least that on a nice set of speakers, if not twice that much on a really nice set of speakers. So if you are in a situation where you can't have your speakers on, maybe you have a baby sleeping in the same room or in the next room, you're in an apartment building. There's lots of reasons. I bought those when I lived in an apartment because I couldn't mix at nice volumes because I was going to wake the neighbors. That's a great option. Get a nice set of open back headphones. When they're open like that, you can hear the sound coming out of the headphones. So they're not good for recording because they'll get picked up by the microphone. However, they do have a, a much flatter response, a nice even response, and they have a nice bass response too. So you can hear the lows in your mix. So mixing on headphones is something that I'll do. Now I mix on these speakers and I also check the mix on those headphones. Okay. But if you only had headphones and didn't have speakers, you can certainly get a good mix on them. You just have to learn how to do it. Okay. So essentially there's two types of headphones. There's the closed back, circum aural is the kind I would get. And these are great for tracking. And then there's open back like these. These are also circum aural. Open back, great for mixing. Now, do you have to have both? No. If you had to get something, I would find yourself a nice pair of closed back headphones. These are about a hundred bucks, but you can get them for probably 30 or 40 uh, a certain of different brands that will do what you need them to do. But headphones are a necessity. You want to get something good because if they tear up, they tend to get a lot of wear and tear in the studio. So you want to get something that's sturdy that'll last you a while. And then, like I said before, buy them, put them on and get back to recording some music.